Hi, this is Edward Kim from UC Berkeley. In this talk, we will present a framework which takes a programmatic and semantic approach to explaining and debugging neural network-based object detectors. Our goal is to automatically output a scenario-level descriptions on the performance of a given object detector based on how it performs on a population of images. To describe our approach, we need to first clarify what a scenario is to us. In our work, scenarios are written in Scenic, which is a probabilistic programming language which allows users to easily describe complex geometric relations among objects using semantic features, which will be covered in the next slide. Users can also define soft and hard constraints using require statements. Please refer to the cited paper for more details. The semantic features we use to Described scenarios are shown on the left column, and their ranges are shown on the right. In Scenic, users can define probabilistic distribu distributions over these features. Because Scenic is a programming language, a, a scenario written in Scenic is equivalent to a program. An execution of the program means randomly sampling a vector of semantic feature values that satisfy user-defined distributions and hard-soft constraints. We will call such sample vector a scene. Hence, a scenic program, after all, is a set of scenes, and an, and an execution of the program means sampling from its set of scenes. So our approach is the following. Given a pre-trained object detector, we let a user provide us with a scenario of interest coded in scenic. Our objective here is to find the subset of the scenario's set of scenes on which the detector consistently succeeds or fails to detect vehicles. We do so in the following way. We generate a large number of images from user's scenario, analyze the detector's performance on those images, and extract failure-inducing rules. Then we incorporate those rules into the user's scenic program to output the failure scenario, likewise for success scenario. These scenarios not only serve as descriptions of success and failure scenarios, but also as means to systematically generate image data that are likely to induce particular behavior from the detector. These data can be used to debug, explain, or retrain the network. Let's take a look, closer look at these rules. The following are the summary of the failure rules we computed across four different scenarios. For each scenario, user provided a scenic program. In the left column, the two types of percentages are shown. The one on the left represents the detector's missed detection rate on the images generated from the user's scenic program. The percentage on the right, missed detection rate on images from the failure scenario. From the failure scenario, we observed a notable increases in the detector's missed detection rate over all four scenarios. To be more specific, in scenario one, the failure rules state that the detector tends to fail when the car's X coordinate is less than negative 200.76, its distance from the camera is less than 8.84 meters, and its car model is Pranger. For validation, we evaluated the detector on the images generated from the failure scenario and observed over 50% increase in, mis in misdetection rate. I will skip the results on success scenarios for the sake of time. So how are the rules being extracted? To understand, let's take a look at our data generation pipeline. The scenes sampled from Scenic program are inputted to the simulator to render images. These images are tested on the object detector to output binary labels, either correctly detected or not. This way, we can start collecting a data set where sampled vectors from the scenic program is paired with binary labels. This setting allows us to formulate the rule extraction as a classification problem. We also developed a white box approach using the previous work cited below. This white box approach was more effective at extracting success rules while the black box at failure rules. Due to limited time, I won't be able to cover these results nor the method. For more details, please refer to our paper. In conclusion, we presented a programmatic and semantic approach to explaining and debugging neural network-based object detector. Thank you for listening.